everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Come to learn, but stay to be inspired. Today we're gonna take straight from the box Raquel Welch's Real Deal in Iced Sweet Cream. Coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One so I could review it for you today. You can find it there. All you have to do is go below the video, expand the description box, Locate the product link, it'll say find Raquel Welch Real Deal at Wig Studio One. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can look at all of the colors, the pricing. Uh, we invite you to shop at Wig Studio One if you have any questions for us. Please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media, a private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group a well-appointed Instagram page, and a lot of variety on our YouTube channel. All of those links are also below. You'll notice right away that this cap is more of an off-white color, um, and that's because this is not a rooted color, and it definitely blends easier with the cap materials into the color. You wouldn't want to put a white cap with a black wig or a dark wig, would you? So this just helps it blend, uh, makes it look a little more natural when you put it on. So we've got the, the tag there. All right, so real deal. I really love this cap. I really love Raquel Welch caps in general. They make possibly the best lace fronts that I've, I've seen. Very luxurious. So you have a temple to temple extended lace front a seam that adjoins the single monofilament top. These are hand-tied monofilament features. You should be able to see through them to the illusion of scalp. This gives it an ultra natural look. I didn't realize that, that as, as early as maybe 10 years ago or so, none of these options were really available in the mainstream famous brand uh, synthetic wigs. And then you have um, a closed ear tab, a nice, long, sturdy stay, an extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters, lots of wefting here. Um, the last time I reviewed this has been a couple of years ago, but it, you know, Raquel Welch runs a little large on me, so I have to make a maximum adjustment to get a good fit. Some run a little larger than others. I will give you some feedback on this piece but just understand that that's part of the variance. So first of all, I have no way of measuring for any other circumference than my own. And then secondly, you can definitely see some variance um, in sizing from piece to piece. It shouldn't be a huge variance, but you can see some. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it on. I won't make any adjustments. I'll go ahead and try it on, give you an assessment of the fit. I know I'm gonna have to make an adjustment, so I'll remove it. Okay, um, it fits me pretty large. So uh, I would say it's average, but may end up fitting an average large better than a petite average. So let's go ahead and I wanna just make that adjustment by pulling in the adjusters here. So that's the adjustment that I made. And while I have it off, I wanna separate the fiber really nicely, waking it up. This is a heat friendly style, by the way. Um, you can take heat tools to this to tweak it up a bit. And I think that's a, that gives us a lot of flexibility. This is a really nice length to have and a heat friendly fiber. Okay. Wow. Those ear tabs are especially nice on this piece. They really come out far and they... Um, they're real sturdy, so they stay flush to the head. Real Deal is a short little shaggy bob style, and it has uh, some real modern pointed razored ends, lots of razoring through the back. If you like styles like Raquel Welch is flirting with fashion, this would be just a little bit of a longer, sort of a grow out of that flirting with fashion style. Um, I really love my other one. I still have it, by the way. It's been three years, and I have it in my favorite shaded biscuit. Um, but again, this was sent to me for review. Um, 
Let's look at this iced sweet cream. So the main color that hits you first is this white. Uh, it just looks like a shock of white, doesn't it? But there is some dimension here. So you are gonna see just a very, the palest of, of gold blonde and it's just dressed and iced with all of this white. There might be some ash blonde in there as well. But from the color story overall is to the untrained eye, it's just platinum, right? It just looks like a straight platinum. This would also be great for the, the woman that has white hair, just wants a, a wig, wants a little bit of dimension without having a root. Uh, this is not rooted. And in the sunshine, uh, this does take on a little bit of a, a buttery look. Those highlights look a little more buttery, so that adds something as well. This is basically a doppelganger color to the Marshmallow Blonde by Beltrus, if you are familiar. So we have about a six and a half inch front piece here. So that's gonna stretch well, in this case, a little below my chin. And then we've got a six and a half inch crown. We have some tapered layers in the back, about a five inch layer here on the sides. And then the nape is actually very ample because some of the longer layers kind of overlap the nape, creating some really nice coverage back there. So you see all of this layering just culminates in that shag style cut. On this piece, there's very little permatease, actually. I'm not sensing a lot of permatease. There's some right around that monofilament and a little bit there in, in the upper back part. Um, but in terms of the nape, there is none. I sense none at the ear tab, and you have to really get up to about here to sense any at all. What that means to me is that I can adjust the profile very, very easily if I want something. Uh, a little lower profile. I can definitely get that, right? But if I really enjoy a more classic appealing bob with a little bit of lift, I can get a little bit of lift there around that monofilament. By bringing air into the layers, you can get a little bit of lift and fluffiness. You might want to use some product if you want it to stay like that. Now, these front pieces do kind of want to flop in the face, but you notice that I immediately start to work on that by raking it away from the face, bringing out any natural contour at the front. Let's go ahead and get up close on the lace front. Now, the knots are very fine here. Um, but you can see that this white, this icy white color is brought up to that lace front. So if you have any natural hair underneath, you're probably going to be able to see through to it. Now that doesn't bother me. You see my widow's peak there. It's darker. It just kind of gives the illusion of regrowth to me. That doesn't bother me at all. But just focusing on that lace front though, it's just beautiful, very natural looking. All the seams are obscured. And then the monofilament top is really going to give you some flexibility in how you want to style it. It also makes it move a little more naturally on the top as well. So you can definitely style this however you want. You could completely change up the look and the part. You get really chic. Look, you can fluff it up. You could add some curl if you wanted. Really love and enjoy that flexibility. Uh, let's try with glasses. Glasses fit nicely between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Beautiful. So I'm just going to manipulate this around just so that you can get an idea of the density, the movement, 
Um, it's just a nice average density. And it will also just kind of tell you what this style can do. Uh, everybody likes their wig styled a little bit differently. Uh, don't ever expect it to come out of the box exactly to your needs and taste. You need to get your hands in it and you need to style it. That's what I recommend here. So everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see you real soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.